It's always an incredible moment when a baby comes into the world, whether it's a baby human or whether it's a baby animal. Some, of course, come out looking a lot cuter than others, while there are some babies that pop out and you'd think, well, that's a face only a mother could love. We have a look at some of the cutest, more unusual baby animals in the world today. Number 25, Baby Geckos. Geckos are common in the family home, and their babies are a mini version of their parents, although newborns are a little more translucent. Geckos reproduce by laying eggs, and it usually happens once a year, except for the leopard or tokay gecko, who can lay up to six clutches in a year. Eggs are laid in sheltered places like under rocks, and they incubate for 30 to 80 days, depending on the egg. Females can reproduce without a male, and these are parthenogenetic geckos. Their offspring is a genetic duplicate of their mother. Number 24, Baby Bongos. These unusual looking animals are called bongos, and they look like a cow and a deer have somehow managed to mate, but that's not the case. They're antelopes from Africa and are among the largest of the antelopes. These antelope don't shed their horns like other ones. They're herbivores and their babies are called calves. Number 23, Mute Swan Babies. Also known as cygnets are extremely cute little swans that are native to Europe and were brought to North America during the mid-1800s. You wouldn't guess it, but these swans are rather aggressive and tend to terrorize other native waterfowl. They find a mate just before they're two and start laying any time between the age of two and seven years old. A clutch can be anything from one to 11 eggs and they're laid in April to June. Number 22, Baby Pangolin. The name pangolin has its origins in the Malay language and comes from the word panguling, meaning to roll up. These scaly anteaters enjoy a diet of ants and termites and usually only give birth to one baby at a time. Their young are weaned by three months and they love to hitch a ride on mom's tail. Sadly, the biggest threat to these quirky animals is hunting for human consumption. Number 21, Tamarin Baby. A tamarin is an exceptionally small monkey found in Central and South America and Mexico. Before 1970, around 40,000 of these cute critters were caught and exported to be used for biomedical research. These guys live in groups of between two and nine monkeys, and only the dominant pair in the group will breed, not the others. These monkeys take extreme care of their young, since there is only one breeding female in the colony. Number 20, the red fox. Granted, not completely unusual, but it certainly makes up for it in cuteness. They're part of the canid group, which includes dogs, wolves, foxes, and many other types of wild dogs. The red fox is the most populous and found all over the world. Babies are called kits, pups, or cubs, and the female fox give birth once a year in spring. The average litter is between four and six cubs, although some litters have been as big as 13. Number 19, baby parrots. From an ultra cute baby animal to one that is rather unfortunate looking, here are baby parrots. In fact, most baby birds look a bit freaky at birth due to their obvious lack of feathers. Parrots are America's fourth favorite pet with around 14 million birds living in cages across the USA. Parrots like to court a little before mating and even after laying, the pair remain close until breeding season again. Only the female incubates the eggs and chicks stay in the nest for three to four months. Number 18, the sugar glider baby. These little cuties are the offspring of sugar gliders, which are small, omnivorous, nocturnal gliding possums that enjoy sweet, sugary foods. They behave and look a lot like flying squirrels and have a gliding membrane that stretches out when they glide from point A to point B. People love to keep them as pets, but it is illegal in many countries. Babies are called joeys and they're as small as a grain of rice when they're born. Number 17, Baby Chinchilla. These adorable babies are called kits, and they're born once a year in litters of usually two, but sometimes six. Native to the Andes Mountains, chinchillas live in herds at elevations of up to 14,000 feet. Interesting to note, chinchillas have the densest fur out of all mammals that live on land. They are exceptionally rare as they are hunted for their fur or to be kept as pets. Number 16, Baby Alligator. If alligators didn't grow up, we imagine they would also be kept as house pets because they're pretty sweet looking when they're babies. Alligator babies are called hatchlings and they're conceived in late spring. Alligators have a very unusual courtship call that has been described as bellowing choruses and they also do a dance to attract a female. Baby alligators have a special tooth called an egg tooth, which helps them break their eggs and enter the world. Number 15, Baby Weasels. Known as kits, baby weasels are cute, but don't let their cuteness distract you. These little fur balls can be anything but. They're hungry all the time, and every day they eat about half of their body weight in food. Their super fast metabolism means they're excellent hunters. Weasels mate between April and July, and gestation is 34 to 37 days, producing a litter of six kits. Number 14, Baby Guinea Pig. 
They're not from Guinea and they're not pigs. So what are they? Guinea pigs are part of the rodent family and originated from the Andes of South America. Many people like to keep them as pets, but they're also eaten in some cultures or used in folk medicine. They're docile, friendly animals, and their babies are called pups. Males can procreate within three to five weeks and females four weeks. They breed year round and a female can fall pregnant just six hours after giving birth. Gestation lasts one and a half months and they have two to five pups at a time. Number 13, lesser short-nosed fruit bat baby. Here's an ultra small bat that will tug on your heartstrings. It's the lesser short-nosed fruit bat baby and they're native to Southeast Asia and Indonesia. Moms give birth twice a year, year round. Gestation is between three and a half and four months and the babies are given milk from the mom for the first six to eight weeks. Number 12, baby rat. If you're not a rat lover, seeing a baby rat might just make you change your mind. They're very sweet and you're rewarded with 8 to 15 babies at a time. Baby rats are called kittens or pups. And on a side note, a group of rats is called a mischief. Couldn't be more appropriate. If you're keen for a pet rat, go for it. They can be taught a lot and make excellent pets. Number 11, baby axolotl. Axolotls, as a rule, are just the most intriguing creatures. They're a Mexican salamander, also known as a Mexican walking fish. Now, it's not really a fish, but rather an amphibian. Despite being quite easy to breed in an aquarium, their numbers are dropping rapidly in Mexico due to the constant building and urbanization of the area. The introduction of invasive species hasn't helped either. They used to be a staple food in the Aztec diet. Number 10, newborn lizards. These are active little guys that look like a mini version of their parents. They're quite independent from birth and can survive without mom the moment they enter the world. Their diet is the same as an adult lizard if it's small enough to fit in its tiny mouth hole. Like their parents, they can heal quickly and they like to bury themselves in the ground to protect themselves at night. Number nine, the European Hedgehog Infant. They don't have the most incredible name for their babies. Either they're called young or baby hedgehogs. Larger species of hedgehog will have between four and five young and smaller species between five and seven. It's quite common for the father to suffocate his newborns. The young are born blind and over seven hours after birth, the membrane covering their eyes dries up and falls off, enabling the baby to see for the first time. Number eight, hippopotamus babies. These round, rather large, water-loving animals are found across Africa, and as cute and cuddly as they appear, they are exceptionally dangerous. They claim the lives of roughly 3,000 people every year. They're ready to mate from six years old and are pregnant for eight months. Babies are born underwater and must swim straight away to the surface to fill their lungs with oxygen. Usually, only one is born, but there have been cases of twins before. Number seven, baby wombat. In true Australian style, we're exposed to another unusual critter called a wombat. These rotund marsupials are different to other marsupials as their pouches point backwards. The reason is that mother wombats dig a lot, so it wouldn't be an ideal setup if the sand was being flicked into the baby's face in the pouch. Babies are called joeys, and moms give birth to just one baby every spring. The gestation period is 20 to 21 days, and the babies are only weaned after 15 months. Did you know a group of wombats is called a wisdom? Number six, baby humble penguins. These penguins from Chile and Peru look slightly different to other penguins in that they are slightly thinner. These are a highly threatened species of penguin, and it's believed that there are between 3,000 and 12,000 left in the world. Because the penguins live in colonies, they are highly sociable birds. It's been known that some penguins will adopt or sit on other eggs if anything has happened to the original parents. All penguins will incubate the eggs. The only penguin who doesn't do that is the emperor penguin, where the man does the sitting. Number five, baby pika. Pikas are quite small mammals that are related to the rabbit. They live in the mountains of Asia and prefer the rocky slopes and some live at heights of 2,000 feet. They like wild grass, flowers, and stems and store their food in burrows to tide them over when they're experiencing their very long, cold winters. They tend to have litters of around five and the gestation period is only 25 to 30 days. Number four, baby echidnas. This adorable fellow is a baby echidna, sometimes called spiny anteaters. These solitary animals are native to South America and the female lays one soft, leathery egg at a time. The baby has an egg tooth, which it uses to break the shell. Babies are called puggles and they stay with their mom for a year before heading out on their own. Number three, baby otters. A group of otters is called a romp and they love to dine on fish. Gestation period is between 60 and 86 days and the whole family takes care of the newborn. It takes a month before a pup can leave the holt and two months before they can swim on their own. Otters stay with their family for up to a year. 
Number two, baby rabbit. Baby rabbits are most certainly nothing to look at when they're born. They're hairless, their eyes are sealed, and the mother doesn't care for them right away. Baby rabbits are called kits, and there's usually 12 to 13 kits in each litter. The mom gives her kits milk, and fortunately, it's not too long before they start growing their fluffy fur that we've all grown to love. Number one, baby chameleon. Another one that looks exactly like his mom and dad is the baby chameleon. Gestation period is five to seven months for these guys, and the eggs they come in are stuck to branches by the mom. When the membrane of the egg bursts, the chameleon emerges and begins walking on the branch immediately. 30 young can be born at one time. Which of these baby animals did you like the most? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more daily videos. Thanks for watching.